Welcome guys to Manny Mini Tips. I'm Manny. Um, so a bit about myself. I have over 20 years um, of experience working in accounting, finance and analysis roles. Um, and I've acquired some of the most interesting Excel tricks um, that one can think of um, that I want to share with you guys. Um, Money Mini Tips is going to be a bunch of videos, um, mini videos, when I say mini videos, um, small uh, snippet videos of my Excel um, skills I've acquired over the years. Um, so what if you're someone that, you know, is interested in learning new tricks or you're interested in um, just improving your Excel skills or um, learning new things, um, then this is a place for you to be. Uh, make sure you tune in. Um, if you like the content of um, my videos and um, my Excel tutorials, um, do like, subscribe and comment um, and then turn the notification um, sign on so that you get notified when I update new videos. Um, and also, if you're someone that was struggling to, um, you know, understand what's what's been talked about in these videos, and you want uh, one to one coaching, then I'm open to that. Um, just you make sure you email me. Um, but yeah, welcome to the first ever many mini tips, and um, it's going to be exciting. So buckle your seat belt, um, have an open mind. Um, is there, if there's anything that you want me to add to the list and um, what you can see on the screen, um, do email me or comment and let me know. Because what I want to do is take you from build your skills up from the most basic skills to the advanced and some of the advanced characters or tricks. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do today is take you through um, what I consider the, the foundation of understanding Excel and understanding formulas. Um, and this is um, relative and absolute cells referencing. What is relative and absolute self right, uh, references you may want to know? Um, let me give me a second. So relative cells in Excel, um, literally all, everything you do in Excel is relative uh, in, in nature, uh, on, unless you ask Excel to uh, fix a particular cell or point to a particular cell and not move, then that becomes absolute. So they behave differently when copied across and filled um, to other cells. Um, relative references can change when your formula is copied to another change, but absolute references on the other hand remain constant, no matter where they're copied from. So let me illustrate what I mean by this. I've got a very simple formula. So to illustrate, illustrate this, so uh, simply if in Excel, if I just point to that cell equals that cell, I can drag this anywhere I want. So if you drag this side, a notice is 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 come across, and now it's looking at my last cell. There's looking at um, E4, uh, and if you like, drag this down. Um, of this move, so all these are all relative, relative um, uh, references, and um, as you can see, you can drag it out however you want. But it becomes more important if you're trying to make sure that. Um, your cells don't move. So for instance, we just want to fix that cell and make sure that everything pointing to that is static. So if you put dollar sign inside the column and inside the, the, um, um, the row, um, what you find is that this will be fixed uh, and it will stay the same regardless of where you drag it to. So this is an absolute cell, uh, absolute reference a cell um, where nothing is being disrupted. Excuse the, the noise. Yeah, so the other side is if you just want to move the um, the columns and the rows, um, the rows are stay, stays the same. So the rows are the same. Um, and the columns move. So what you have to do is if you point back to that same cell, you can put dollar sign um, uh, outside of B column. So the column B is now fixed. 
right? So if you move it across, that column would not move uh, at all. So if I move it across, um, you can see that's still 10, 10, 10. Um, but if I move it down, because we didn't fix the, the rows, um, you can see that, that uh, you know, obviously that, that um, the, the rows have removed. Now, if I just want to fix the rows and not um, the column, I'll do is put dollar sign in between um, in between uh, the the column and the row four. So row four now is fixed, so that row would not move if I move it down. But if I move it across the columns, the columns will move because I've not fixed my column. Um, so this cell now can be moved across and then I can still see my columns move accordingly. Um, but however, my rows are fixed. So if I move this down, uh, it doesn't move past that first uh, row four. So row four is fixed. So a bit of tips um, to get the dollar sign quite quickly. Um, what you do is F4. Um, if you just do equals that, and then just do F4 in Excel. Um, I'm using Mac, so it's, it's, it's old T. So, no, no, so it's Command T, sorry. Uh, yes, it's Command T. Command T fixes it. That's an absolute reference that doesn't move, uh, whether you move it across or move it down. If you go one more time, that moves, that locks this, the, the rows, right? Because the row four is fixed, but the column, um, there's no dollar sign next to the column B, right? So that, that column would move as you move it across. If you go one more time, then that changes. I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm pressing F4 uh, several times to get this to move, right? To get this to change. We take an example and say, we want to have the percentage of cells, um, um, in each of these, a representative, the quarter to the total cells uh, in a year. So I'm going to go to equals that um, cell. Now, because I want this to be, uh, I can move across, I don't need to do anything. I can leave this as a relative cell for now. Let's leave this as a relative cell for now. Um, so I want to do that divide by the total. So now this is where I need to make sure that this total does not move. How do we do this? We don't want the column to move because you want, if you move it to Q2, move your formula to Q2, that is still looking at F, F column. Um, so what you do, you put the formula outside of F. So dollar sign outside of F. So now you've literally fixed the F columns. Now we can move that formula uh, across and the column will not move. So um, that is 7% of the cells. If you move it across that um, and, and then test is, you can see that uh, Q4 um, then moves across and it's 53% um, of cells um, for that year. And if you move, sorry, if you move this formula down by dragging, highlighting the entire uh, uh, rows, a row, and then just drag it down what you find is that all your columns have moved as well. It's, it's, it's funny, it's still sort of the same percentage, but yeah, they have moved. Right. The reason why we didn't fix this is because we want this to be flexible. So when we move it across, it would move. And when you move it down, it would move. So this is how to make sure you have a mixed, if you, if you hear the reference mixed ref, cell references, this is what it's, it's about. So it's making sure you have a mixture of a relative and absolute cell references. Right, so that is, that's, that's it really for relative and absolute cells. Remember, dollar sign um, uh, in any of the column would fix the column. So when you drag the columns to, you drag across the columns, it does not move. And dollar sign in between um, next to the, the row number, um, the row number, what you're doing is fixing the row. So when you're dragging, um, uh, when you're dragging the formulas down, um, the row does not move. It just stays fixed, but the column can uh, move if that makes sense um, because the reason I'm saying this is because it's quite 
this is quite key to everything we're going to be doing um and taking you forward i'll be using a lot of this to um so when when you see me put dollar sign in between um columns and rows you wouldn't be um you wouldn't be um surprised and you'll know exactly why so that's it that's all there is about relative and absolute cells what i'm going to do before we say bye to this video is i'm gonna then strike this um list and strike this as done um thanks so thanks for watching this first ever video um i wanted to make it short and simple um but if i've talk too much forgive me for that but next one is going to be a lot more exciting we're going to be looking at some if and some ifs and then we're going to jump into count if and count if and, and then we're going to move into some of the most interesting interesting topics um so thanks guys and this was many many tips and um, do like subscribe and uh come back for some more cheers